Good afternoon, I am Laura Tursi. I work for the Center for Chemical Process Safety. Uh, I am here at the Global Congress of Process Safety with Nestor Saavedra from Ecopetrol. He's the Vice President of Innovation and Technology. Good afternoon, Nestor. Good afternoon, Laura. How are you? Fine, and thank you for the invitation. Uh, thank you very much for presenting today at the launch and presentation here at the Global Congress on the Ecopetrol strategies and challenges. Uh, in process safety. So I wanted you to explain to me a little bit what are these challenges or strategies that Ecopetrol has. Okay, Laura, Ecopetrol is a growing company. We are now producing just 754,000 barrels per day. And we want to produce 1,000 barrels by the year 2015 and 2020,000 barrels per day. Uh, uh, 1,300,000 barrels per day in the year 2020. So we are doing a lot of effort and investing about $80 billion in doing that. But the main thing is that we want just clean barrels. I wanted to know a little bit um, uh, a little bit more about that. When you were doing your presentation, you have very compelling images. You were very attractive. And uh, I think people was really impressed about what you say about clean barrels. Could you explain to me a little yes. bit more what that, what that means yes. for Ecopetrol? We were looking a way in order to distribute the information to our people that the people feel like they are doing good in, in their job. So as simple as possible is better. So we choose clean barrel. So clean barrels, if we produce one clean barrel, it means that this barrel is in equilibrium with the society we are working around with not accident. So our employee returns safe to home with not injuries and with not environmental problems. We have operation of dangerous materials. We are digging for producing oil. We are transporting this oil to our refineries. And we are converting this oil in even dangerous products. And we are transporting again these dangerous products to our communities. So we need to do everything in a safe way. And that's why, why we are very worried about implementing process safety management. Okay. And also, I think uh, a particular challenge that you, you talked uh, to us today was that when you are transporting these, uh, these materials in Colombia, you have to go through a huge distance. And also, in Colombia, you have a, a very particular uh, geography, so it's, it's a huge challenge ahead. What I wanted to ask you also is, where do you guys get the commitment? Where is the, the driving force that Ecopetrol has behind this to, to produce all, all this change? In our people. Our people wants to do the right, right things and from the beginning, but they need guidance and they need leadership. So we are uh, reinforcing the leadership in our people, in the top, in the medium, and in the operational level, at all the levels. And our people feel that these are the right things to do, so they want to do it. So in that part, we feel that uh, we found the strength of this uh, process and the implementation. But we know that even though we are in the half of the way to grow and to be a leader organization in a process safety management, but we want to be. Okay. Thank you very much, Nestor. I think um, I wanted to, to thank you also for this effort that Ecopetrol is, um, is doing to, to become a leader in, in process safety in Latin America. And I am hoping that you guys uh, have brought a huge delegation from, from Ecopetrol now here to, from Colombia to, to the United States. I hope the Global Congress um, help you um, fill those, those gaps in, in information also. And also conferences like the one in, in Latin America will be able to, hopefully, to help us. In yes, sure. We, are, we have a membership in that, in that, in that uh, conference in Latin America. I am inviting to everybody who to visit Cartagena is a nice place, but also we will have a nice conference. It's incredible the, the technology that we share in this, in, in this conference and how you learn about others and how to apply a small thing but has a lot of impact in, in the operation we have. Thank you very much, Nestor, and thanks again for coming to, to the Global Congress on Process Safety. Thank, Thank you, you Laura. Much.